it's me and Sarah and Amanda. So Sarah is 17, Amanda is 15, and it's been the three of us for a long time. You're not going to say how old you are? No. <laughs> I enjoy dance and it's a lot of fun because you're there with your friends and it's a way to express yourself. It's been hard because I haven't been able to do that for a while, but last week actually I went to a couple classes which was very, very nice to kind of get back into things. Sarah turned 16 in December of 2012. It was right around that time that I kind of noticed that just something, something wasn't right Sarah just seemed off. Um, just felt really tired all the time, but I didn't think much of it. I just thought that yeah, I wasn't getting enough sleep or yeah. I was growing. And there were areas of her skin that looked odd, almost like a bruise, but it didn't hurt. And then the nosebleed started. And I had made an appointment to see the pediatrician, and I think he knew right away. He didn't tell us, obviously, but he sent us for blood work. It was 12 vials of blood. I didn't know that I had that much blood. And so. it, it ranged everything from dengue fever to a basic CBC. So that was 3.30. We got home. I made the girls food. They were sitting, sitting, and um, he called at 5.30 and said, her results indicate leukemia. I was shocked. And he said, how quickly can you get to Hershey Medical Center? And by Tuesday, April 2nd, about 24 hours that we were at Hershey Medical Center, we had a diagnosis. And the diagnosis was pre-B cell ALL, acute lymphoblastic leukemia. <sighs> and it's been a whirlwind since. It sucks because these are the years that you're supposed to be going out with your friends. You're supposed to, you know, go to go to school. Kids say, oh, I hate school. Well, if you don't get the opportunity to go to school, I mean, it's almost like human withdrawal. Like you're in your house with, and you see the same four people all day. And I mean, with the whole germ thing, it gets, it's, it's, <laughs> I'm, I'm kind of up to here with that because <laughs> I just, I don't want to have to worry about that. I mean, yeah, some days I'm angry, some days I'm sad, some days, you know, are just bleh, but I guess I felt relieved because everything kind of came together. It wasn't just a nosebleed there, feeling really tired here, losing coloring there, it all kind of fit, the puzzle was finished, and we could finally move on. I didn't have to feel, well, I felt crappier sometimes <laughs> than I felt beforehand from the chemo, but I knew that we are on a road to recovery. I had never heard of the Four Diamonds Fund. One of the nurse practitioners at Hershey said, the Four Diamonds is here to support you and your family and, you know, with, with whatever you need. And then, you know, described that there was a financial component as well. And, and I just started, you know, tears streaming down my face because I had never even thought, the thought had not even crossed my mind how to pay for this, how to financially support this. And it is so, so much more than, than that. It, the, the fund is so much more to us than that financial component. They're dedicated to what they do. They care about the families. I think for everybody in the pediatric oncology at Hershey, it's a little more than just an oncologist. It's a little more than just a nurse. It's a little more than a social worker because this is a little more than just an illness. I think that with the research that the Four Diamonds Fund supports, it can help make diagnoses like mine shorter because Two years is a long time to be kind of down and out. It can provide more research for more rare cancers because survival rates for leukemia 
are very high, but for other cancers, um, they're not, they're not so high. And I would like to see that raised. When your kid has cancer, you just want to have more good days than bad days. And the research is doing that. Thank you so much for the time that you're spending raising awareness and raising money to help families that are dealing with a child with cancer. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you for raising money for my family and all of the other kids who are suffering from this terrible disease.